It was just two days ago that my Fiesta was sitting in that garage and now it is new car collection day. I don't, I don't mess about. We're going to get the new car already. It's up in London. So let's go get this new car. It is completely different to what I've ever had before and uh, I am super excited. So without further ado, let's get in the car, get on the train and we'll be at the dealership in no time. You gay? Yeah, very good. Yourself? Fine, 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 fine. All right, I've just been inside the dealership, signed the paper, I've got the keys in my pocket. I'm not going to show you the keys because as soon as you see them, you'll know the car straight away. But the car is just around the corner, so let's go and pick it up. All right, the car is around it. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> that's, wow, oh my God, that looks mental. The next car is levels above the Fiesta FT. Levels above, like not just like a next level, like it's two levels above. Nine eight one and come round the back, come round the back. We've not gone for no standard one. Yeah boy, we've got the S. From a Fiesta ST to a flipping Porsche 981 Cayman S. I'm gonna explain why I've gone for this because there was different options. It was between this and an M2 comp and I had to go with this. Look, look at the key. That explains it all right there. Look at the flipping key, mate. Oh, this is not real right now. I don't know how to work this thing. Mate, what the hell is this? Mate, it's so low down. Two-seater sports car, what do you mean? Mate, I've got a PDK, I've got a PDK. Oh my God, should we start it? Does it come up? Yeah, boy. How sick is that? I've got a spoiler. Oh, it sounds good as well. It's a 3.4 flat six. So it has the, the iconic Porsche noise. I could have gone with a 718 Cayman, but it does not sound like this. I'll give it a little blip, little blip. <laughs> oh my God. All right, let me, let me hop inside and show you guys the interior. I'll show you a bit about it. First of all, the key, yeah? The key is nutty. It's the shape of a car. So the interior, we've got the sports like steering wheel right here along with the chrono pack that was a must because the chrono pack comes with sport plus um and we've also got pasm right you put this on and i'm pretty sure it lowers it by 20 mil maybe you open the front boot from down here you got the front boot and the rear we'll do both i'm gonna have to get used to this boom storage space is mad let me get in the storage that's what i was gonna do this this is how big it is this is big storage mate let's open the back this thing has many boots mate the storage is endless well the engine's there mid-engined we just gotta now go do a few last bits and then we'll hit the road okay all right got the key ignition on oh this is weird Yeah. Okay, drive, we're all good. Oh, oh, first drive in the Porsche. Don't curb, don't curb it, don't curb it, don't curb it. We're away. We've got the PDK box, so we've got flappies. Feels so low down and it feels really like my, the Fiesta was very much like big cabin. Like the, yeah. the glass went well, like this feels snug. And like I feel my visibility is awful, but it's not awful. It's not that bad, but it just feels way less than the Fiesta. But before you lot start typing in the comments, because I can already see you typing in the comments saying, oh, mummy, daddy's money, like, no, it's not. Okay, get into national speed limit, but I think we're coming up to the M25. Let me, let me put it in Sport Plus, boom. Holy, we just awoke a beast. Let me put it into manual, okay. Jesus Christ. Oh my, oh my God, that is aggressive. Jesus. Oh my God. All right, let me, outside lane thing. Wow! It sounds so good and it feels so fast. Oh. Oh. 
Oh my god, and it kicks you up the arse every time you change gear. It do revs so high. Do love me kick up the arse. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, sorry. Sorry, nah. Sorry. I'm, oh, I'm in love. I'm literally in love. Oh my god, it shoves you up the arse. Mate! What is going on? Oh my god, it sounds glorious. It sounds glorious. Is it glorious? Oh my god, it has that. It has that Porsche like flat six. Oh my god, how is this my car? We're steaming up in here. Flipping hell. Flipping Jesus hell. Christ. Lord have mercy. Mate. But anyway, you lot, it's getting dark now. Unfortunately, we had to pick it up late. I am literally, I don't know what to say. Like, I'm speechless that this is my car. Now unfortunately it doesn't end there because as I was getting closer to home I was getting more familiar with the car and the roads I decided to put it in Sport Plus to have some fun. So I put my foot down, the car was wheel spinning, the traction light came on and all of a sudden I had a warning light come up on the dash. Alright it's a few days later and uh, unfortunately the light is still on. So if we plug the key into the ignition and turn it on, as you can see the PADM fault is still on. Now I was going to do a video on why I bought the car, do a few facts and figures because I understand I've not gone through too much about the car in this video but when I saw that come on I was like oh it's a heart sinking moment yeah we're gonna have to get that fixed now I've had a look on forums and they say this car is bulletproof they say these things don't really go wrong but if anything's gonna go wrong it will be the padam and they say that these things can be expensive to replace now I'm dreading to think what this could cost and I do have warranty on the car for three months but Sometimes they don't cover the whole cost. Sometimes you still have to fork out a bit yourself. As you can see, it does say you can drive on carefully, but this is the first nice day we've had, and I want to go drive this thing, so it's so gutting that that has come on, and uh, yeah, I've got to get it sorted as quickly as possible. Hopefully it goes through warranty all right, but... We're going to have to find that in the next video. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I hope you guys like the car as well because I absolutely love it. Regardless of the fault, we'll get it fixed. I am over the moon with this car. I absolutely love it. It's literally, I still can't believe that I'm sitting in a Porsche and I can say it's mine. It's it's absolutely mental. I hope you guys are looking forward to what we do to it because I've got lots and lots of plans. And uh, yeah. I can't wait. But I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. I hope you guys like the car. Let me know what you think of it down below in the comments. But yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed and I'll catch you guys in the next one where we try and fix that fault. <laughs> <laughs>